This guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one to step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, it's always tough when you draw that high-level wrestler who has a lifetime of experience in a one-on-one -on -one competitive situation. Prevailing wisdom is he'll have the wrestling advantage in this one time. As his dad said, the moment he introduced him to the sport, he knew that he was made to be a wrestler. The kid slept in his headgear. He only wants to wrestle, and by doing that, he puts you in danger. He's constantly in your face, constantly trying to dig at your gas tank. He goes from transition to transition, single to double to high crotch. It does not matter the attack. He just knows that he will give you so much to process in terms of the wrestling that eventually he will get you to the ground. You ever sleep in your headgear? I sleep in my headgear. All the time? All the time. All right, big one for him here tonight. Let's get to it. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, Bazooka. And now he his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, Big. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. Ready? buzz for this fight and round one is now underway. A clash of styles in some respects between a grappler and a five-tool player type, but certainly the more well-rounded fighter has no problem with age. So he doesn't mind grappling, but he also has the ability to fight on the feet, something to grab. Oh. something that's going to give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence, but it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Nice hook lands. Very tricky to throw that body kick. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Big ball punch, man. Now he gets back to range. Try to 
entry there, and he gets the fight to his wheelhouse on the ground. Beautiful takedown into the full guard. Look for him to posture and use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Try to establish that jab. Ooh. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Big left hand lands upstairs. What a round. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to lose. Round two is underway. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full on. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at 29 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by...